He'll come out of the baseline. Still can't find a scorer outside of Barnes. Long pass to Sydney. Oh, yes. oh, yes. oh, yeah. yes, sir. And, uh, Perry Clark's got to get a timeout. Yes, He's got trouble without Barnes on the floor. Well, nobody rotated back. Nobody got back defensively in transition. Salmon's penetrated, and when he penetrated, no one rotated from the backside to give him any defensive balance. There's the jump shot by Salmon's. Now take a look. Nobody rotates back. Bell says, I give it to my teammate, and it's up, up, and away. It's Dipsy Doo, Dunkaroo, Mr. Salmon's will try the three, and it's still not there. And Sydney again. Game's leading rebounder. Up what a nice pass. 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 Oh, that's like Brady, man. Throwing the big skin late in the game to get the Patriots to the winning. That was Troy Brown on the receiving end yes, that time. And uh, oh. Troy Bell. So the city of Troy. Sydney and Bell, the amazing backcourt, leading the way at a timeout at the 17-28 mark, 41-23. Sammons has to give it up and on the turnover. Back it out. Back it out. Numbers, wants Bell. Bell taps it back to Hello. Sydney for the layup. And a big win for the BC. It's been Sydney and it's been Bell. Their backcourt has to I want you to get up and get an interview with the two of them and see if you can get Bell to say something, not let Sydney <laughs> do all the talking. <laughs> I tell you, they've been sensational today. They've been awesome, baby, with a capital A. Yes, show that. Show it. Get it up there. They've been amazing. ABC, the amazing backcourt today in Chestnut Hill. And all oh, did they need a W, baby. The score is he and Ryan Sydney of Boston College, a couple of guys really without a position, Brad. Absolutely. Both of them extremely effective. And you, you see Julius Hodge here. He played poor game against Georgia Tech the other night, but he took all the blame on himself. Said, I got to play better. Sydney attacks the goal constantly around the basket. Both these guys shoot the three extremely well. Both of these guys are, are, are very good underneath the basket. Both have good hands. And, and, and Hodge is strong despite his slight build. Obviously, Sydney's strong. And they're playmakers for these basketball teams. And uh, as they go, these teams will go. Both listed as guards and forwards in Sydney's case last year with a shot clock at eight. They do get it inside. Sydney banks it in. With a quick move. So strong. 6'2, 205 pounds. Catches the ball. Nice shot off the glass. Alex. Look at that. Look at Sydney. 6'2 on the block. He takes a much bigger 6'6 six, six Hodge and just takes it to the front of the ring. Three point distance. Nice pass. Smith there. Got it. Very good recognition by, 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 by Sydney there. Smith made a nice step in. A chance. See, by him stepping in, it gave that his teammate a chance to rebound. There's Sydney. Little big man. Boy, he does play big, doesn't he? 6'2", 200. How about Ryan Sidney? Watch him return this one. Well, look where he's at. Around that basket, knows the basket. Good foul. Good foul drawing opportunity. He draws it and goes to free throw line. 15 points for Sidney. He's already topped his average. High school basketball player, McDonald's All-American, and now he's getting some serious playing time. And there's that man again, Ryan Sidney. He keeps finding a way into the... For the he said, tip. Troy, me lad, I am going to have the BMW ultimate drive of the game. Not once, but maybe a couple times. Boy. Yeah, let's do that. was fun. Let's do it again. Were you good at that good at reading lips when you were coaching? <laughs> yeah, very good. <laughs> you have trouble keeping up with Ryan Sidney, number five, the 6'3", Mercurial. He is absolutely grease lightning, Mr. Energy. He's third in scoring, second in rebounding, and first in assist. And most of all, he is exciting. With a great touch pass there to teammate Troy Bell. When he has all three of those games going together, he's scary. They just complement each other well. They, they really don't get in each other's way. They play very differently. And uh, one obviously has the ball, another one doesn't need it in order to be successful. So, it's, so I'm not, I'm not, I don't know if they are the best backcourt, but I do know they complement each other extremely well, and that allows them to be very successful. Yeah, it is interesting when you. Well, take a look at the numbers. It backs up everything that Al Skinner said. I mean, uh, Sydney, what's impressive, that bottom number, 10 rebounds a game. Now, that's, that's Oscar Robertson type average there, 20 points, 10 rebounds. Yeah, he's fearless. He will, he'll go to the glass. He'll find people. He is a fear. Nice, simple little delivery. Watch. He gets the rebound, throws it up there where Sydney doesn't have to break stride, and Sydney does the rest. But if that ball's not delivered right where it is, Sydney loses that split second. Watch the little touch like a quarterback. Lay it out there right for the receiver, and that gives him the angle to the goal. And the layup, a simple little thing, but the great play. We are loaded here with talent, happy guys. Now, this guy, Smith, he's a freshman. What did you tell him about playing Connecticut, Troy? 
I didn't tell him too much, man. Craig's, a, Craig's definitely a player, best freshman in the country. I didn't tell him too much. And that's from Troy Bell, the uh, defending Big East Player of the Year. There was a guy named Okafor on the floor today. Did you see or hear of him? <laughs> huh? I mean, I've I seen him, but, you know, I don't know what happened. You know, we just, we just shut him down. Ryan Sidney, you always have a comment, and if you ever can be eloquent with the scoreboard 95 BC 71 UConn, today's the day. Oh, yeah, um, happy, happy, extremely happy. We played great defense. We played together as a team, and that's all we could do. You know, everybody came out and contributed at, on all ends of the floor, and I think that's what made our team that much better today. Well, they say uh, eagles don't flock. They you have to <laughs> find them one at a time. I got three here that were super today. Bob? Thank you very much, Bucky. Troy Bell with 26 points, Smith with 20, Ryan Sidney 17 and 8, Ben Gordon leading UConn with 15, Talik Brown with 12. UConn slips to 4 and 2 in the conference, BC 3 and 4 in the league. So for Bucky Waters, I'm Bob Picosi. Thanks so much for joining us. And so long from Gamble Pavilion and Stores, where Boston College beats UConn by a final of 95 to 71. Oh. So we're at halftime. Boston College over Michigan, 42-38. Tim Brando, Spencer Tillman will be along with Singular at the half right after this message. And a word from your Ryan Sidney in this ballgame. He's doing everything. Driving to the goal. This one was a basket plus the foul. He's got 14 points. Going to show you his ability to get there with the left hand. Sweeping layup. He's also got five rebounds and two assists. And his motor is constantly running. There you see his numbers. Well, we talked to him last night along with it. Talking to Coach Al Skinner and Troy Bell and Ryan Sidney, they want to prove, as that bucket finds and had a three-pointer, they want to prove that the 27 wins was not a fluke a year ago. So we're at halftime. Boston College over Michigan, 42-38. Tim Brando, Spencer Tillman will be along with Singular at the half right after this message. And a word from your local station. Ripping it up for 17 in the first half. Well, he's showing us everything in his package, and he's got a bunch. This kid is terrific. One of the outstanding guards I've seen this season in college basketball. It's early. There's Troy Bell, though. His partner's not too bad himself. But Ryan Sidney, that's a three-pointer at the end of the first half to give Boston College that four-point lead. But you look at these numbers here. What you've got to look at, the turnovers right there, and then also the offensive rebounds. We've got rebound totals, but Boston College has nine offensive rebounds. Because of that, Craig, they've gotten 11 more shot attempts, and that's why they're on top. And they've scored off those nine offensive rebounds. Play together as Sidney trans transferred in from Huron High School as Lavelle Blanchard was graduating. But both have had a key role in today's game thus far. Sydney has been everywhere and star on the offensive glass. Bodies on the deck, no whistle. Boy, they're crashing the boards, and Sydney comes up with another bucket, 20. The back run. And the Michigan, they need them all. Michigan 10 of 14 as a team. They're going coast to coast. Oh, Ryan Sydney. You know, he wanted to make the statement. He was John with the, the student section before the. Here's Sydney finishing in transition. And here he is. Look at him amped up. He can't wait. This was prior to the game as they came to the floor to get ready for this action. Sydney quickly fires the three and hits. Oh, he is bringing it. That really hurt. Somehow breaking free. Anderson. Right to left, Young gives it off, turnover. Sydney, coast to coast. Right. Players of the game are from Boston College, Ryan Sydney for 29 points. Chris Young, even though foul trouble, Clark, 16 points. Chevrolet will make a contribution to each school's general schedule.